Hi, just stopped by here today is, I think it's Wednesday, and I got to make two videos today too, damn, damn, damn. Um, my eye is puffy, I think, I don't know, maybe it's allergies, I don't know if I'm allergic to something or what. And I want to talk about disappointments and setbacks. And I wanted to talk about how I was going, I'm not going to make a video today because my eye is puffy, and I'm not going to do it. And I think sometimes we make... I think sometimes we make excuses on why we don't do what we need to do or why we're not being great or I can't do this because, fill in the blank, whatever your blank is. Regardless of what's going on in your life, stop making excuses and do what you need to do. Make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Make shit happen regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what you're going through. You still have to make shit happen. You have to show up. You have to show up with a puffy eye sometimes. You may have to show up when, you, when your Louise ain't bumped. Sometimes you just have to show up and keep pushing through whatever is going on in your life. Somebody had emailed me and um, was saying that they haven't been feeling good and their boyfriend broke up with them and... You know, all of these things. And I understand that life happens. Life happens when we make plans. But the thing is, you have to keep pushing through to get to the other side. It is no other side if you do not push through. It ain't no other side. Party over. Check the fuck out. If you're not willing to push through, check the fuck out. Now, I will say, sometimes you have to fall back, regroup, get your mind right, and keep it pushing. But for the most part, you have to figure out what's important. What's important? Now, a lot of times that we don't keep going is because what we're doing is not important to us. If you're saying, this is my goal, this is what I set out to do, and I have to do it by any means necessary, even when I don't feel like it. I didn't feel like it this weekend, and I had to pay for it, so now I got to make two videos. A promise is a promise, even if the feeling has changed. A promise is a promise, even if the feeling has changed. I was dating this guy, and his son had asked me, you know, if you and my dad would break up, would you not come around? And his dad had told me, other women, that he is dated when they broke up, they stopped fucking with the kid, which usually happens. And I promised his son that regardless of what happens, I will always be somewhere. I will always be somewhere close where he can find me. And once me and his dad broke up, and it was some life-challenging things that happened, and I remember my promise. A promise is a promise even if the feelings has changed. So if you are committed to something and a situation and it is not causing you harm and you just don't feel like it or you don't think you can make it or you don't know your next step, move anyway. Because if you take one step, God will take two, but you have got to move. You cannot keep sitting there waiting for somebody to save you because they ain't coming. So if you're saying I need to lose weight, just start walking. You ain't got to do a whole bunch. Just start walking a little bit. If your heart is broken and you can't get out the bed, just get out the bed and move to the couch. If you're saying I done lost my job, get your ass up and look for another one. Get your ass up and get to moving. The man left you. The woman left you. You done lose, lost weight. You done gained weight. You're out of money. Keep it moving you have to keep it moving that's why god gave your ass two damn feet so you can keep walking just keep walking and if you ain't you got two arms if you're in a wheelchair just keep it pushing keep it pushing you cannot give up disappointments are going to happen deaths are going to happen divorces and breakups is going to happen it's all going to happen i mean i think in between 2014 and now i buried 10 close people to me and i could have really checked out myself but it ain't my time to check out. It's not my time to go. It's not my time to sit up and, whoa, it's me. It's not my time to be going, I can't figure it out. Yeah, what I don't figure out, I pay somebody to. Why? Because I got to keep moving. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep going. I have to keep making strides to get to where I'm going. Regardless of what the circumstances look like, it is not my outcome. And this is not your outcome. Whatever today looks like, it's just right now. It's temporary. Don't think that this is your permanent place. And even with me talking to myself, this is not my permanent place. This is not my permanent place. I have something so much bigger for myself. So much bigger for myself. And I have to remind myself every day, do I want to make these YouTube videos? Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want to do this and sometimes I don't. Okay, Keisha, now you're doing life coaching. Do you want to show up? Yes, you want to show up. How do you want to show up? You want to show up full 
out. You want to play full out. You want to play, you want to show up full dressed. You want to make sure that you got on your armor. You want to make sure you got on your hat. You want to make sure you got on your gloves. You got to make sure that you all covered and keep on moving. You got to be covered in perseverance. You can't say, you know what, you know, this man ain't acting right. Ever since I talked to you, I don't had everything in the world happen to me. I don't had a boyfriend in jail. I don't had a boyfriend die. Me and my boyfriend done broke up. I mean, what else done happened to me? I lost my father. I lost my aunt. I lost my other aunt. I lost my grandma. I lost my kids' grandma. I mean, it was just so many things happened to me, like, in the last couple of years. And I could have just said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to sit on the remote and flick. I'm going to flick the TV. I've had, um... Times where I'm going, well, shit, I got supplemental income to pay my damn bills. I ain't finna go to work. I ain't finna do this. I ain't finna do that. Why? Why? Because I'm thinking that a temporary experience is a permanent place. A temporary experience is not a permanent place. It's just not. It is not. Y'all know I get to preaching and shit. But look, disappointments happen. Dust your damn shoulders off. Dust yourself off and try again. This is right now, whatever's happened to you that seems so major, know that it is not major. Know that it is not major. It is a temporary hiccup. That's all it is. It's just a temporary hiccup. But if you keep on going, you'll understand why. If you keep on going, you'll say, oh, that's why God didn't want me to go left. He wanted me to go right because it was something much better right. Oh, I didn't go right because God had a bigger car, a bigger house, a better relationship, a better body, a better meal plan, a better diet, a better school, a better fill in the blank left. So that's why you couldn't go right, but you can't see it right now. You know, when it says, you know, you the understanding gets better by and by, the understanding gets better by and by. Just let the by and by happen. Just let the by and by happen, okay? Um, if you guys want to do coaching with me, definitely hit me up. I want to talk to you guys about my new ventures that I have going on, and that is my next video. And will I be caught up then? I think I got to do two tomorrow. That's what you get for cheating. That's what you get for cheating. No, I didn't come on Saturday, and I didn't come on Sunday. Oh, well, fuck it. I'll do two tomorrow, too. <laughs> I have another video coming up talking about my um, ventures and things that I have coming up, and I'm talking about that right after this. <laughs>